Hey everyone, welcome back. So today we're going to be looking at my selection of the top games for the month of February. Now, the month of January was pretty quiet this year. There weren't really any new games coming out that really got me excited. So that's why we skipped that month. However, for the month of February, it's the complete opposite. And I've even got five games that I would mention as top games of the month. Obviously, there aren't only five games coming out in the month of February. We actually have quite a few games coming out. However, I, as usual, am always going to select the top five games that I really think you should keep an eye out for because I'm pretty sure they're going to wind up being pretty good all around games. After you've seen my list, if there's maybe a game you think I overlooked, feel free to leave it down in the comments below, along with any questions or any comments that you would have on my video. As usual, please don't forget to like and subscribe after watching the video, it really helps it out a lot. And without further ado, let's get to the list. Now first on our list we have Darksiders Genesis, releasing on February 14th. Now this is the fourth installment in the Darksiders series, and we finally get to play as the last of the horsemen, Strife. However, you can also play as his brother War from the first game. However, instead of a regular third person view behind the uh, main character, this is going to be played as a top down Diablo style game, and it even allows for co-op play. Second on our list we have Devil May Cry 3 releasing on February 20th. Many would argue that Devil May Cry 3 is the best in the series and on top of it the developers have promised surprises for the Switch port that is not available on the previous versions of Devil May Cry 3 among which would be an enhanced combat system. So this is one game that I cannot wait to play. Let's rock, baby. Third on our list, releasing on February 21st, we have Undernight Inbert EXE Late CL-R, which is a 2D anime style fighter, which many would argue is the best available out there. It has a awesome roster of really original characters and some really deep gameplay. So if you're into 2D fighters, you won't want to miss this one. <laughs> リッターシルトの何かけて敗北は許されないのでね。俺だが争いを避けたいのだが、振りかかる火の粉は払わせてもらう。全然。俺を分からない。俺を。俺を。俺を。俺を。俺を。俺を。俺を。俺を。俺を
This collection consists of all the Mega Man Zero and ZX games that were released on the DS platform. And they are quite a challenge, however if you're willing to put the time in, you will be very happy with what you get, and 6 games for the price it's launching at is a no miss in my opinion. Now, last on our list is the ports of the Metro 2033 Redux and Metro Last Light Redux releasing on February 28. The Metro series is among the best FPS games available out there, and if the ports are done well, it'll be quite the experience to have on the Nintendo Switch, since the FPS genre is a little bit lacking on our platform. However, we'll have to wait till February 28 to just see if these are quality ports of the game, and if they are, I guarantee you this will be a no-miss pickup. Now there we have it, that's our list for the top games of the month of February, and honestly, 2020 is really shaping up to be an awesome year for gaming. However, I can't wait to see what Nintendo is going to announce in their next Direct, because there are quite a few franchises that we're lacking information on, as is. However, as usual, I'll be doing these videos each month to keep you guys tuned on which games are coming up that I think should really be worth your time. As I said before, don't forget to leave it down in the comments if you think I've forgotten any games coming out for the next month. And don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe if you aren't already, and activate that notification bell so you know when all my new videos come out. And I hope I'll see you guys in my next video.